Hey there folks, we're back again with the very first update of your 30 hour challenge presented by Revamp Robotics and Overcharge. So for the past, uh, we started at 2 p.m. Pacific and for the past two or so hours what we've been doing is we've been, uh, as I mentioned in the video uh, from the introduction, uh, we've been simultaneously doing some brainstorming as well as designing and building a basic grab train. Um, we've, been dis uh, we've been discussing what we really want to do for this challenge because we know we just can't get everything done in just 30 hours. Um, and after a lot of discussion with multiple sub-teams and multiple subgroups within our teams, um, we've decided that we really want to focus on scoring both blocks and balls in our lander. We want to be able to climb into our um, we want to be able to climb into the depot with both blocks and uh, balls, and we want to be able to collect from there, scoring into the um, the lander in the center of the field. So uh, we've got a little sketchup of a whiteboard design that we've got here, and uh, this is what the robot's going to be for the most part, as well. So uh, let me try to explain this really quickly. The most emphasis that we're putting on in this case is going to be the balls. So right here, we've got a linear slide that's going to move up and down, obviously. And uh, it's going to be connected to a dumper design that looks kind of like this. And it's going to be one by two, meaning that there's going to be a block over here, and there's going to be a block next to it. So from the front view, it look like this. There's two blocks, and there's uh, around like four inches, right, because of the two blocks. But we also might want to make it a bit wider, depending on what we decide on, if you want to get the extra balls in there as well. So since we're going to be focusing primarily on the blocks in this first part, we're going to be able to lift this up. But there's three main states of this dumper that we're going to have. One is in the normal position, which you can see like this. The second one's in a tilted position if you want to lift it up, so it'd be tilted like this. And the blocks would be able to go backwards, so if you lift it up and down, it would work perfectly fine. And there would be nothing falling up. And the third position is going to be the scoring position, so when we tilt it back down, it's going to be able to have the blocks fall out. And it'd be really simple because we wouldn't need to attach the intake there. This is going to be fixed to the robot, so independent of this movement, everything's going to be fine. And since we do have this one uh, slide, which you plan on using a 30 to 1 ratio on, we're going to have a hanger mechanism up here, and this is a bit complicated. We are still working on refining the specific details of it, but uh, this is the design for the hanger as of now. So this is going to be similar to what we used uh, Hotwired in 2016's uh, Rescue Challenge. So it's going to be a latch-based mechanism. So we're going to have a latch over here with two springs, and there's going to be a servo controlling both of them. We're still working on milling the brackets. But uh, basically, this axle is going to go in. We might attach it to some sort of channel. And assuming this is like the uh, hanger for the actual uh, lander, we're basically going to have this go inwards, and then we can pull it down. And since most of the stress won't be on the servo, but rather on the strings, we hope that it won't really break anything when we lift up. And since our robot's going to be relatively light, and all the weight's going to be in this area where we're hanging, we can see that like in the back, if we're putting any electronics or maybe even the team marker, we'd be able to actually hang. All right, so now for a bit of Q&A. Well, the first question that we had on the stream was, is there going to be audio? Unfortunately, because this is just such a long stream, 30 hours, and we have like over 25 people, 25 students in our um, building, there's just going to be way too much background noise for us to um, successfully put audio in there. So we won't be having audio on our stream unless we have any important announcements that we want to say. Um, that which, if we do, that's going to be very few and far between. Um, please, if you want to hear something from us, rely on these uh, live, uh, rely on these updates every two hours, so you can get a, an accurate gauge as to where we are. So the second question we received is uh, Hotwired and F FRC team, and the answer to that is actually no. Hotwired is an FTC team for four years. Uh, a bit about us, we actually won the World Championships in 2014 in Block Party, and we've also got the Inspire Award at Worlds in uh, 2016, which is the Rescue Challenge. And actually, that's come to help us out, both of those, because we're actually using our designs from the past years, and we're looking a bit into them. That's how we came up with these designs that we've showed you previously. And uh, with that, I was the only member that actually stayed behind. All right. Well, thank you so much for that. Um, uh, be sure to tune in back into our YouTube channel for updates in another two hours, and we hope to see you guys watching our stream. Thank you so much.